The Bakabung mine is a 235,000 ton per month mine, platinum, mining two reefs. The upper reef is, is a Marensky reef and the lower reef is a UG2 reef and they are separated by between 40 to 60 meters. We are now at the main winder building for the main shaft. From this building, there'll be three winders. On the extreme left is a service winder for servicing the shaft. Then we have a rock winder and a mena material winder. These winders wind down to a depth of a thousand meters. During the construction phase of the winder building, we started off by excavating a big box cut. From the box cut, we put the blinding, reinforcing, and we built the structure. Once the structure was completed to the level that you see it now, we proceeded to backfill around the structure, bringing it up to the natural terrace level. We are now at the top of the main shaft. This is the eight and a half meter diameter shaft. This shaft goes down to a thousand meter depth and you'll see we are busy doing the first line after the first blast, meaning that this shaft is in its absolute infancy. It's only just starting now. The concrete area around this shaft is a meter thick reinforced concrete. The back section of the shaft where we have an opening, that's the opening for the bulk air cooler which will come in at a later stage. There the roof thickness is 750 millimeter reinforced concrete. As the shaft gets sunk, it is blasted, cleaned out, and that's a cycle, a sinking cycle. And as we proceed with the shaft down to the thousand meter depth, it is concrete lined, and it's one of the high risk forms of mining. Uh, it carries a lot of potential risk, which we need to manage, because for the people at the bottom of the shaft, there's only one way in and one way out, and that's through the winder down the shaft. So, man so safety has to be managed very, very carefully. That is a ventilation column. The ventilation column blows fresh air, clean air down the shaft. And this is one of five Diamond winches. The Diamond winches actually raise and lower the stage, the working platform underground. They're designed that all runoff water from the mine, from the terrace, reports to the concrete drains, which report to the pollution control dam. It first goes through a silt trap to take solids out of suspension. And this is part of our EMP, our environmental management plan, that no water from this mine terrace reports to the Elans River, which is just on the far side of the dam. So these are pollution control dams. In total, there must be about four and a half to five kilometers of concrete drains for cutoff water. The sinking period is approximately five years to sink the shafts. Thereafter, it will be a slow ramp up. It will be all reserve development going into production development. So we're looking at about 2016, 2018 before meaningful platinum is extracted from the mine.